Hattiesburg, Mississippi native Noah Harris made history in November when he became the first black male student to be elected student body president at Harvard University. To really have the opportunity to run for this position and to make history the, the way that we did, me being the, the first uh, black man elected by the student body, it, I, it really even has, it hasn't set in yet. Due to COVID-19, Harvard is still all virtual this year. So all of Harris's campaigning had to be virtual as well, which he says added an extra level of difficulty. We just had to, to get creative and uh, try to engage people around trying to get out the vote. Harris, a junior government major, also co-chairs the undergraduate council's Black Caucus. He says after the death of George Floyd and everything that happened in our country this year in regards to social injustice, he believes his victory is perfect for the moment. It really sends a statement that it's it's time for, for Harvard to, to be sure that they're standing by their by their students of color and, and all students to make sure that their experience is as, as great as possible. Harris and his vice president's three main focuses will be improving student life, increasing access to mental health and wellness, and diversity inclusion. The Harvard has very diverse, but a lot of its communities are kind of separate at times. And so we want to bring together a number of initiatives like our cross-cultural collaboration to bring those communities together. Harris's vice president is Jenny Gann, an Asian-American woman. Marcus Hunter, 16 WAPT News.